Let me begin by asking you uh, an undiplomatic question. You just wrote a column in the FT and for many India watchers and of course Indians here, it was very interesting because you proposed that the UK should actually give up its place on the UN Security Council for India. Why did you say that and what was the reasoning behind that strongly worded article? Well, I can tell you that this is not rocket science. This is just plain common sense. You know, I was ambassador to the UN twice, from 84 to 89 and 98 to 2004. And it's very clear that when the founders of the UN, you know, created the UN, they realized that the only way to make the United Nations work is to make sure that all the great powers of the day have a vested interest in the UN mm. and not leave it. And that's why they gave the great powers, veto powers, and permanent membership of the UN Security Council. And I can say that the lesson that they learned from the collapse of the League of Nations early in the 20th century is that if a great power leaves, organization collapses. But they also believed that you must have the great powers of today, not the great powers of yesterday. Unfortunately, they didn't create a mechanism for changing the seats, but that it was very clear that what they had in mind was to ensure that the great powers of the day were entrenched in the United Nations. And today is there's absolutely no question mm -hmm. that India is the third most powerful country in the world after United States and China. And Great Britain is no longer great, as we know. And frankly, the United Kingdom has effectively given up its veto in the UN Security Council because it hasn't used it for decades. They know that if they use it, people get very, very upset. So the, course, the logical thing to do mm -hmm. is for the UK to give up its seat to India. Mm 